Hi, I'm David Maldo, and today I want to give you a quick look at the whiteboard function in Zoom and MS Teams. Before we start, I really only have one tip when it comes to these virtual whiteboards, and that's don't be afraid of them. Go ahead and use them. I think that people often think, oh, this is an advanced feature, I shouldn't use it, or if they bring it up, it'll just annoy the other people in the meeting. People will be like, just explain it with your words. Why you got to bring this thing up? So the thing is, it really is helpful. Whenever people do use them, I see a lot of relief in meetings. I see people saying, oh, now I get it, or oh, that was so much easier to explain. I think it's a very underused feature, so don't be afraid to use your whiteboards. So let's see how they work. I'm actually in a Zoom meeting right now. So let me wiggle my mouse around so my toolbar comes up. And we select, where are we here, share screen. And one of our options is whiteboard. So this is our whiteboard. So as you can see, we have two toolbars. Here's our main toolbar, if I wanted to, to stop the share, our share toolbar. And here is the whiteboard toolbar. And there's not a whole lot of buttons. Honestly, you can start a Zoom meeting with yourself and figure this out in a few minutes. But while we're here, let's go through some of them. So we have text, create a text box, in case my handwriting isn't so good. Draw, if you mouse over draw, you see we have different shaped lines, I have a thicker line, can uh, make an arrow, boxes, uh, less transparent boxes, all the expects you see you, you all the things you expect to see under draw. We have a few stamps. Wanna show my love? I could put some hearts on the screen. A spotlight, if I want to show you what I'm pointing at without drawing. Obviously the select tool lets you grab things that are already drawn and move them around. And the eraser lets you erase some things. Um, the format button changes your color, your line width, your font. And other than that, there's undo, redo, clear the whole board, and uh, save button. Not a lot to it. Again, the biggest thing I think is just not being afraid to use it. Oh, and one final thing before we move on. This might not be obvious because I'm in this meeting alone, but this is a collaborative whiteboard. If other people are, are in the meeting, we could all be drawing together. So let's jump out of Zoom and check out Microsoft Teams whiteboard. Okay, here we are in MS Teams. While we're here, a little quirk, you'll notice my logo's reversed. Microsoft Teams mirrors your view. It makes it a mirror. So if I wanted to use this to, to fix my hair, when I lift up my right hand, it looks like I'm looking in a mirror. But it flips it back the other way. So if I was in a meeting with other people, they would see my logo correctly. But this video is about whiteboard, so let's check it out. Similar to Zoom, it's under the Share Content button. We have our different options, including Microsoft Whiteboard. OK, so right away we have our toolbar at the top. Looks like we have some pens. We could draw a few different colors here. This one's pretty cool. It's a little, little bit of a psychedelic thing going on there. Our highlighter. And I guess this must be our eraser. A text tool again, for those of us with bad, ha bad handwritings. And you'll notice some things are a little different than they are in Zoom. Zoom had a separate button to change the color of everything. Here for our text tool, we can change it within the text tool. Another thing that's different is this tool, Sticky Notes. You choose your color and you drop a sticky note on the board, which then you can, of course, resize and move around. A lot of teams like to plan and uh, plan their activities with sticky notes, so this is a very helpful tool, a familiar way to work. We also have our different shapes. Oops, making a mess here. Um, make a triangle. Again, you can change the color. I also like that the entire canvas is movable, and I'm zooming with my mouse reel. Uh, it looks like I can kind of have a really big workspace. I'm not trying to make this a complete comprehensive uh, evaluation of every feature. I'm just trying to show you the highlights. But again, it looks like we got most of it. Open this yourself and play around with it before your next meeting. During the meeting, you don't want to be learning how to use the tool. Take a few minutes, learn the buttons, and then have a really great interactive session. One last button I didn't look at here. This one lets you add an image from your computer. So you can put an actual picture from your, from your computer files here. And finally, in the settings here, we see you can turn off the ability for other participants to edit, and there's a way to export your images. So that's a very quick look at virtual whiteboards in Zoom and MS Teams. I hope you found this helpful, and I hope you've seen that it's nothing to be scared of. Open them up 
and start using them to collaborate. Thanks.